Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're looking at writing equations in slope y-intercept form. So when we say slope y-intercept form, this means the y equals mx plus b form that we all know very well. And in this equation, the x, of course, is the independent variable, and the y is the dependent variable. Now this m is the slope, and the b is the y-intercept. So those are the two things that we need in order to get this form of the equation of a line. So we're given a graph here. Um, when we look at this graph, uh, immediately I see that the y-intercept is right here. And the y-intercept means where the line that we're looking at crosses the y-axis. So y-intercept crosses the y-axis when y is 3. So our b value, or our y-intercept in this case, is going to be positive 3 because that is where the line crosses the y-axis. So that's one part of the equation. The other part is the slope. So the formula for calculating slope, let's move this up, we have a, we have a few. Um, one is uh, slope equals rise over run, and the other um, common one is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you can use whichever method. If you're going to use the rise over run, then usually we uh, look at our line on the graph. We pick two points, any two points. We draw a rate triangle between those two points, like this. And then we determine the rise, so in this case it would be down, and then the run, so it would be to the right here. I'm going to use this other formula today, so that uses the coordinates of the points. So I'm going to use this point right here, which is the point 0, 3. And then I'm also going to use this point here, which is the point 2, negative 1. So to use this method, we need to label the two points we're going to use with um, the x1, y1, x2, y2 values. So here I'll say this is my first point, so I'll call this x1 since it's the x-coordinate, and I'll call this y1 since it's the y-coordinate. And then on this point, it'll be my second point. I'll call this x2 since it's the x-coordinate, and this the y2 since it's the y-coordinate. So now we're going to go over here and sub in the values that we got. So y2 is negative 1, y1 is 3, over x2, which is positive 2, minus x1, which is 0. And this gives us negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4, over 2 minus 0, which is 2, which is negative 2. And this is the slope of our line. So now, combining the y-intercept of 3 and the slope of negative 2, I'm going to take my equation, y equals mx plus b, and sub in negative 2 for the slope, which is the m, x, and then the b is positive 3, so I will put a plus 3 here, and this is the equation of the line from that graph in slope y-intercept form. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.